In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial of the Cute Cut Pro video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now, if you're new to this channel, I show you guys how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and let's jump in to this tutorial. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on iPhone. It's going to be the exact same tutorial, except now I can have a mouse hooked up, and you guys can see exactly what I'm clicking on. So to start, what we're going to do is click on the plus button to make a new project. I'm just going to name it New Movie 1. That's fine. And in here, we can access our settings. So I'm going to choose HD in Landscape. This all looks good to me. Click Done. And then we'll be able to enter our timeline here and something I like to do is just grab this here and bring it over because this is going to be our preview screen and I like a bigger preview screen so that way I know how my video is going to look when I'm editing it. So to add videos all we're going to do is click the plus button here and we'll give us all the options of what we can add. Um, obviously we're going to do some video editing so I'm going to add some videos so I'm click there and in here I'll go to our albums and I actually have a video editing album and here's the footage I want to add. So I'm just going to click on it. Here you can choose it or you can click cancel if you chose the wrong item. You can also just add the audio if you want. For example, you record maybe someone playing a song and you just want that song as the background noise. You could click audio only. So I'm going to choose this video. There we go. And then I'm going to click on the same line here where the video is. I'm going to click on this to add more footage. There we go. Choose. Click this again, choose, I'm just going to go through and add all of my clips. There we go. And you can actually scroll through the time one with your finger. I also like to zoom it out. So I'm going to pinch to zoom out my timeline. There we go. And I can scroll through with my finger. And there we go. So to you'll notice this the blue line here, and this is basically where we are in the timeline. Um, QCut Pro has a very weird way of doing this. So you can control where this is by just scrolling with this and moving the blue line, but you can also do it just by scrolling through your timeline, which is the normal way of doing it. But if you ever hit a point where this is over here and you're trying to get to the to the beginning of your video and you can't and you keep scrolling over because you have to move this weird knob thing over to get to the beginning of your video. Why they do it that way, I have no idea, but just so you know, so if you ever encounter that problem, this is how you bl move the blue line so you can scroll through your video um, without having to click play and watch it through. If you want to rearrange your clips in your timeline, uh, all you have to do is hold down on the clip and it will turn yellow. There we go. And then I can just scroll over. Let's say I want this in the back. I can let it go there. And there we go. Now my video, this video is in the back of the thing. So just hold down with your finger and you'll be able to move your clips around. If you want to trim your clips, all you have to do is double click on whichever video you want to trim. And then you can grab either sides of the video and you can just trim it like so. So I can trim it a little there, trim it a little here. And then I can click this check mark and it'll make it trimmed just like that. If for some reason you make a mistake and you actually didn't want to do a certain action or you accidentally deleted something, there's a back button right here. So if I click that, it'll reverse the trimming I just did. So if you do make a mistake, you can always click this back button. So no worries if you accidentally delete something. Now, if you want to add things over your clips like text, stickers, photos, you know, put videos on top of videos, all you have to do is click this plus button down here. So when you click this, you can add more videos, photos, text, music, voice, and it'll start layering your clips and stacking them from here, down, 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 down. So if you wanted to add more things on top, you just have to click this plus button and then just keep going down the line and you'll be able to add, you know, different layers of text, music, photos, videos, etc. Now let's get into some more specific editing within our videos. So all you have to do is double click on a video and it'll pop up all the settings down below. So let's go through some of these. Here we've got the duplicate button. So if you want to duplicate a video, 
Uh, this is the split button. So if you want to cut a video in half and make two separate video clips, you can use the split button. We also have the delete button. This magic wand is actually the transitions button. So if we go over here, click the magic wand, we can add a transition, which they've got some basic ones here. There's a lot of different transition tutorials for Cute Cut Pro that are out there on YouTube. So I'm not gonna go super in depth. I just wanna give you the basics so you can just get into editing. But in here, you'd be able to add like a basic fade in, fade out, uh, et cetera, all within here. But like I said, I'm not gonna get fancy with it. Like we're going through the basics here. Uh, now we've got the sound icon, so you can control the volume. Uh, here we have the transparency, so you can make your video disappear or be half transparent, depending on if you have a background or whatnot. Um, we then have the timer here, which is going to control the speed. So if you want to speed up your video or slow it down, that'll allow you to do that. We also have the crop option, so if you want to crop in on your video, you can do all that right there. We have the filters, so if you want to apply different filters, brightness, contrast, add color, make it more colorful, you know, etc., you can go through all of these settings and be able to control the filters of your video. Now this button here is the border option, so if you want, you could apply a border around your video and also change the color. Uh, and then this will actually round the corners of your border, so you could do this and it'll make round the corners, which is just kind of weird. This applies shadow, so if you do have a video on top of a video, you could apply shadow there. Um, and then these are just the flip and reverse options, so if you want to flip your video upside down or sideways or flip it this way or that way, that's what all that will do. Now once you've gone through and you've customized your video and everything, all you have to do is click the export button up here. You want to probably export it to your album, so that way you can send it to TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, and then you are all set with getting your video complete. Now, if enough people want me to make an advanced editing tutorial for CapCut, comment down below, and if it so happens that I'll do that, I'll have a link to it right here. Uh, otherwise, check out this playlist right here. I'll show you guys how to make better videos with your smartphone. So if you want to prove your smartphone filmmaking, check out this playlist, and I'll see you guys in the next video.